All right, all right, all right. Uh, apparently, Russell Wilson have threatened the Seattle Seahawks. Let's talk about talk about it, man. Um, he says that uh, I hope it's not my last game in Seattle, but it won't be like my last game in the NFL or something like that, bro. He wow. So uh, let me see if I get a better article than this. Well, we go to Seattle. So I mean, when they post, it don't matter. I like the interface better. So, um, check in the field playlist out. Uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I heard Betty White pass uh, today, according to TMZ. Reportedly, rest of power to Betty White. Uh, 99 years old. Almost made it to 2022. That's a hell of a uh, life that she lived and the length that she lived. And um, sad, sad anytime, you know. You don't hear anybody pass away. That was solid. All right, so Russell Wilson hints at Marky Seahawks' future with trade rumors swirling around. Now, we, the reason this has validity, the reason this has legs is because, okay, it is because he requested a trade last year, okay? That's why he requested a trade last year and then he reneged on the trade okay then he reneged on it and then you know we kind of right here again all right so now he makes this comment that now everybody's going to be attached to there's going to he know people going to leech uh, latch on to it and it's reports that his wife, Sierra, wants to move to New York City. Okay. And a lot of people are saying that maybe New Orleans is the best spot for him. But then there's like these rumors that came out of nowhere that Peyton might be interested. Sean Peyton, the coach, might be interested to be in the Chicago, with the Chicago Bears. You go to Chicago, I think he would like Russell Wilson there. Okay. Um. The reason I say that, you know, and then because they would have the capital, they would have the capital to 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 get Justin Fields. They can get Justin Fields, and they have some capital there um, to get them with Justin Fields. Okay, but let's read it, and I kind of continue to give my honest opinion, right? So you read the headlines, and it's everywhere, not just in New York Post. So it says Russell Wilson hints. At murky future, at murky Seattle Seahawks future with the trade rumors request, said Russell Wilson. Can we see this? Yep. A little bit. Russell Wilson didn't help silence any trade buzz with his latest comments about his future in Seattle. Shout out to uh, Toomba. He, you know, he get mad when I talk about Russell Wilson and ask for a trade. A Seahawks fan. He said on Thursday, the Seahawks quarterback discussed team's final home game of the season against Mighty Trey Lions. Check out Mighty Trey Channel, Mercy Sports Talk right here on YouTube. That is Mortar City Sports Talk. He used Lions on Sunday and raised some eyebrows with his remarks. He said, quote, I know for me, I hope it's not my last game in Seattle, Wilson said. But at the same time, I know it won't be my last game in the NFL, okay? You never know. Everybody think every tomorrow is promised, and everybody think the next play is promised. In the NFL, not, in life, nothing is promised. It's a physical football game. You go out there and get your head cracked Sunday. It will be your last game. Wilson, Wilson's cryptic message, cryptic comments came after CBS – a sports report on Sunday that an offseason trade is very real possibility amid, amid Seattle's 5-10 and 10 season. In 2019, Wilson signed a four-year, $140 million extension, which includes a no-trade clause, which he's under contract for two more seasons and $51 million. A report earlier this month listed the Giants as one of the teams Wilson would be willing to waive that clause for a potential deal. The Giants quarterback situation in limbo with Daniel Jones dealing with a neck injury and questions lingering about his viability as a franchise quarterback, and then they don't have any money in neither. Wilson on Thursday was also asked about whether or not he still believes he can win, uh, win three Super Bowls in Seattle, which he noted that was the goal. He said, quote, I hope so, said Wilson, who led the Seahawks to their long Super Bowl 2014. Obviously, quote, obviously we can't do it not being in the playoffs right now, but I think the most important, most importantly, it takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of things. It takes a lot of pieces. And I think that we have a good amount of those pieces. A lot of them, it, uh, a lot of them, it's been a tough season. So as well, too, man, 
And Michael Vick made a great comment on uh I'm I'm uh what is it? I'm an athlete. I think it is. Uh, you know, with Chad Johnson. And he said that when you take all that money, yeah, I'm an athlete. He said when you take all that money, because one of the dudes up there questioned Russell Wilson and said that he's not that good. He said when you take all that money, he said, you know, it it, it it hurts the resource that you could put around. He said every year in Atlanta, I had to restructure, keep restructuring, restructuring. And people don't understand. I understand, you know, you get the money. But Tom Brady, you know, he was an anomaly. He took less money to stay in New England. And that's why he was able to continue to win Super Bowls in New England. He trusted the process. He trusted Bill Belichick. And Belichick knew when to get rid of these dudes and when to keep these dudes. And he knew how to salvage guys. And, you know, and with Tom Brady giving a huge amount of that money back, and his wife is richer than him, so they're not hurting for money. But him giving a huge amount of that money back, he was able to keep, they was able to keep pieces around him. You know, and Russell Wilson, remember, he they could that deal, that deal, that that deal came down to his personal deadline. And he asked for that contract. And now you want more pieces around you, you got to know your audience. Historically, Seattle has drafted well and found guys in the mid and late rounds. Cam Chancellor, Richard Sherman. Bobby Wagner, he was able to find these guys second and beyond. But you look at Seattle driving history recently, it ain't been really good. So he probably, I take this money, I restructure a couple of times, but I know Pete probably going to find some good players. DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, none of these guys I think was first-round picks. Earl Thomas was a, was a first-round pick, but they have not done well at drafting these guys of late. So, you know, he don't have all they don't believe in drafting no high offensive linemen early. Right? Obviously, they don't believe in, 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 in drafting defensive line early being successful at it. So, and he's not having a worse year. He played 12 games, he's 64.9% completion rate, 18 touchdowns and five picks. So, you know, like I said before, they need to start, you know, drafting, drafting better to support him. But yeah, I think it's time to go for him. He, he, well, anytime somebody starts speaking and, and, and doing this in the media, bro, it's time to go. And the cap hit he probably ain't probably going to take is going to be tough, but probably time to go. And you look at teams like New Orleans, but, you know, who's ever going to afford them? New Orleans, the Giants, the Jets. I mean, I know you want to go to New York. Maybe Miami, you know, Cleveland. I don't know if you want to be in Cleveland. You want to be in Seattle. Seattle is, you know, it's raining a lot, but, you know, right off got this great seafood, so. Who knows? Obviously, you won't be in, in L.A. area. The Chargers got their franchise. The Rams got their franchise quarterback. Um, will they switch him? Will they switch him from Dak? I don't know. I don't think so. Let something really go back in the playoffs. And Dak played pretty well in the playoffs. Um, so I really can't see him going to Green Bay for a spot for Rodgers. Denver will be a spot, but they won't live in Denver. You know what I'm saying? Denver's a great place. You know, they said the snow ain't as bad and the weather ain't as bad as people think. Um, you know, New Orleans, they rebuilding uh they probably like there. Um so I don't know, man. I don't know. You know, maybe Nashville is a dope city. I was just there this year, man. Uh him and Derrick Henry be something vicious, but uh, we'll see, man. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check the NFL playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Sound like Russell ready to go out there. And subscribe button, the bell icon button, hit on notification screen, change the notification, check out your playlist. Want to financially support the channel? Cash app CJ Good 313, Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link description, cash app of Venmo roll to bottom screen, PayPal link description. Okay, all that's in the description, by the way. Best way to donate, thumbs up the video, all that stuff. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you have business question, inquiry, response, video request, I'm gonna chop it up, whatever, hit me up. All my social media links, all that information in the description. Appreciate the love, support, peace.